Grayson, where grace begins with you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a lovely, lovely video for you today. Most, most, most um, talked about in vanilla fragrances. So, I said, let me give you some very vanilla, but very, very, very vanilla fragrances. That's something that you enjoy. Please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely don't forget to share and absolutely don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload more great content. So, without further ado, let's get into these vanilla fragrances that I picked for everyone to see some of my um, most favorite uh, vanilla fragrances that I have in my collection. In the first fragrance, let me just get one spray before I put it on display. Because this is, a, this is one of my favorites, Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. 64 by Kayali. Top notes, rum, vanilla, orchid, jasmine, and middle notes are vanilla, cream brulee, spicy notes, leather, tonka bean rose, base notes, patchouli, brown sugar, agarwood, oud, sugar, amber, musk, sweet, vanilla, it has powderiness, a little balsamic, oud, amber, it's rum, it's a little woody patchouli, warm spicy i get cream brulee vanilla i get a little bit of that warm the spiciness from the spices i get a, a tad bit of the leather but what i get in this fragrance is booziness um almost gourmandish with that cream brulee vanilla this is so so vanillic to me this is so good and it gives off that that sweetness like almost like a um a you know a dessert mm, or a pastry vanilla type of definitely definitely can be leaning gourmandish i love this vanilla scent this vanilla sugar patchouli is royale is so nice a little boozy with the vanilla with the sweetness of an almost gourmand fragrance. This one is Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64 by K. Lee. The next one I have for you, beauties, is definitely one that is super, super popular. And that you know, I couldn't leave this fragrance out as a fragrance to talk about on a vanilla, very vanilla, um, basic vanilla 28 by K.I. Lee. K.I. just hitting it out. Mona's just hitting it out the park to me. Like she's coming with these fragrances. Some of the fragrances are some, okay. This, and some of them are better than others, but, um, the majority of her fragrances are just hitting it out the park. The top notes, vanilla orchid, jasmine, middle notes, brown sugar, tonka bean. The base notes is amber, amber wood, musk, and patchouli. This is just sweet. This is just amber. This is overload vanilla. This is a little watery, a little woody, powdery, a little floral, and musky. This is so vanilla. It has that sugar brown sugar, that tonka bean, you know, some of that comforting coziness, vanilla. This is so, if you want vanilla and you want a safe vanilla, to me, this one's good. And you know you can layer it with anything that needs a little sweetness. This one is Vanilla 28 by K. Ale Fragrances. The next one I have for you, Graceful Beauties. It's definitely one that's new to my collection. 
and I was going to pass it up. I was going to pass it up and pass by it, but I'm so glad that I did. Burberry's Goddess. Goddess by Burberry. The top notes are vanilla, lavender, cacao, ginger. The middle note is vanilla caviar. And the base notes is vanilla absolute. Vanilla, lavender, spicy. That's all I can say. This this is vanilla and lavender, but not lavender in a um, masculine way. And this is a and I thought, you know, vanilla, how many vanillas do I need <laughs> fragrances for vanilla? But I'm so glad I picked this one up because this one has a bright type of vanilla. You know, sometimes vanilla can be very soothing, comforting. It can be kind of almost lactonic because it can be kind of thick and heavy. But this one is bright. It's a vanilla, but it's like a elevated vanilla because it has... Um, it has, it doesn't have that thickness. This one is definitely a everyday scent vanilla. This one's definitely a signature scent vanilla. It's just a beautiful vanilla scent fragrance. And I don't even get a lot of the lavender at all. All I get here is bright vanilla, airy vanilla, beautiful vanilla, gorgeous vanilla. And I'm and I, I'm so shocked by this fragrance. I should have got a big. I should have gotten a bigger bottle. <laughs> I went back three times, and I definitely should have got a bigger bottle of this. And so, I my next purchase will definitely be a 3.4 ounce bottle of this. And this one's Burberry Goddess by Burberry Burberry Goddess by Burberry. Next fragrance, guys. It's one that I've had in my collection and I speak about it here and there. You don't see a lot of people talk about this fragrance. Um, I speak about this one um, not as often as I should, but this one is a great vanilla fragrance and I should speak about it more. I do wear it, but I should wear it more. But it's still a great, great, great birth in the library by Mason Martin Margiela. The notes are vanilla, woodsy notes, cedar, and pepper. Woody, vanilla, fresh, spicy smells. Just like you're in a <laughs> library. It's a um, unisex fragrance. It has that soft vanilla. It has like a softness vanilla not real um, beast mode or outward projecting. It's almost kind of close to the skin, but it's a comforting um, vanilla, almost like, you know, the action there, the verb like whispers in the library, you know, like soft and subtle and, you know, kind of shy, but it's a beautiful, beautiful vanilla subtle vanilla it's beautiful get your hands on it it's, it's a beautiful beautiful vanilla and most people don't think of this fragrance as a vanilla fragrance but it's definitely a vanilla fragrance and this one is whispers in the library by mason margella last but not least it's definitely a fragrance that i've had in my collection for a while a long while so long that the, <laughs> the fragrance have macerated and has changed colors and you'll find that with certain fragrances that have vanilla, vanilla in it like this one Mason Gentle Full of Witty Gold by Mason Francis Kirk Dijon now let's get into the notes the top notes is vanilla, amber, musk woodsy notes, juniper, berries nutmeg and coriander vanilla powdery it's amber it's woody a little for a spicy air definitely aromatic has a little bit of muskiness sweet and it's a little soft spicy this one beautiful vanilla like i said in vanilla based fragrances or vanilla fragrances i think this one was a light 
this fragrance was like almost it was clear actually when i purchased it now it is a deep you can't see it here but it's like a deep purple color and i've seen that happen with um a numerous amount of my fragrances that has vanilla in it. it's just a vanilla getting sweeter and darker and it's changing colors kali is another one that does that over time but when it changes color to me it makes it a better fragrance it macerates it's making it stronger it's making it more prominent it's um you know almost like if you you know making a dish or something and you let it sit and or you seasoning something that's the same way with these fragrances and gentle fluidity now i've talked about this fragrance um it was something in a, for a while in this fragrance, and I think it was because the fragrance, is, the fragrance itself was changing, you know, going through its period of change and macerating and things like that. And at one point in time, it was, it was headache inducing to me. That has soon passed, and thank goodness. This is just a beautiful vanilla fragrance. And now I can enjoy it uh, much, much more. Um, and sometimes that happens. I don't know why. Maybe because of our senses and the different um, things our noses and senses are um, accustomed to. And then it smells something different and it's not accustomed to that. Or it doesn't, you know, it, 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 it really doesn't like it. But... And that might be for the ever-changing fragrance. You know, the the notes and ingredients in the fragrance, you know, forever changing because it's getting the oxygen from the air in the bottle. Still beautiful fragrance. I wouldn't change a thing about this fragrance. If I ever run out of this fragrance, I'll buy back a bottle because this is definitely worth the money. This is a beautiful vanilla fragrance and it really performs it's it performs very well it's excellent it's a great fragrance definitely in the cold and winter months and it's a great fragrance even in the warmer and springtime it's just so beautiful like I, I can smell it now I have no issues and I'm so glad I waited around and let it evolve into the fragrance I know it was. This one is Gentle Fluidity Gold by Mason Francis Kirk DeJohn. That's all I have for you beauties. The very, very vanilla fragrances that I have. I have many more, but these were some of the ones that stuck out to me and I thought that I would bring them to you. But before I go, I forgot one, 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 one more. It was an honorable mention. And I forgot to tell you about this one. I'm gonna put it in there real quick. I'll probably talk about it in another video. Vanilla can't leave out Dior. You know I love Dior, the Privé collection. Vanilla Diorama. You want a um, smooth, very well, um, smooth, very, very, very well, um, executed vanilla fragrance vanilla d aroma by christian dior is it this is a elevated um sophisticated vanilla fragrance very smooth very vanilla has a little bit of that rum for booziness and a little bit of that cacao this one this one is very a very very good vanilla fragrance sophisticated vanilla luxe fragrance I'll get into it a little more on my next vanilla fragrance video I hope you enjoyed before you go please don't forget to like comment and subscribe definitely definitely don't forget to share and absolutely don't forget to hit the notification so you'll be notified when I upload more great content. It's always a pleasure. I'll see you back here again soon, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.